So here we have the Volkswagen Golf R-Line on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then this tray section will lift and remove to give you even more space underneath again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer over on the right-hand side, along with a digital readout for the speedometer. Just below that, you can see the total miles of the car, which are 4,450. You can customise the screen, uh, change various different bits of information as you see fit using buttons on the steering wheel, so you can literally change everything up there. Uh, if we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a second ago are here. We've also got a heated steering wheel you can turn on and off from there. We have stereo controls, which continue on the left-hand side. A cruise control. Once you hit cruise control, hit this button in the middle. This car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically depending on the car in front speed. Over in the centre, we then have the touchscreen for the car. We're on the climate control menu at the moment, which I'll come back to in just a second. This is the main home screen. You have a few different choices of display, depending on which one you like. Ultimately, you can still access the same features, no matter the display. So for example, satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this works on our website and YouTube channel. We can come back here, we can access our music. Uh, this car's got DAB, FM and internet radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. We've got Bluetooth audio and my media, uh, where you can save your own music, videos, playlists, etc., uh, onto the car. Below that, we can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the volume for the stereo there as well. Uh, you'll remember when I first showed you the screen, we were on the climate control menu. You can access that down here. So you have full climate control uh, access there. You can turn the air conditioning on and off. You can put it onto auto. You can turn the whole system off from up there if you wish to as well. We've also got an assist systems menu. We've got a vehicle mode menu, so you can put the car into eco, comfort, which is your everyday driving, sport or individual modes. And we have a parking menu, which is essentially the reversing camera just there, which as you can see is a full color camera. We have guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image being shown on the screen. Working our way down, we have some storage and two USB-C inputs. This is a wireless charging phone pad as well, just here. We have a six speed manual gearbox with an electronic handbrake and auto hold function. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the cars in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.